Hello, everybody. This is Terrible Iron. Coming to you with the Dogs of War games. Uh, I'm playing a little bit of King's Legion today. Uh, you may have seen a few of my other videos, and uh, I am doing walkthroughs. Sometimes I'm doing a little bit of uh, live gameplay presentation, but um, I, I, I've been you know, the leader of the Alliance Conquer here on Server 10 for yeah, several months. And, and uh, well, our group has gone through some ups and downs. And I guess uh, right now we're in one of those downs. But uh, what I do intend to show you is um, some basic functionality of the game that I've realized many players, uh, new players, younger players, not sure where the communication breakup happens, but some things in the game, may, maybe they're just not as intuitive as one would believe them to be. And um, so I wanted to kind of do some videos here just to explain some of the basic functionality and to give everybody some information about how you know, the basics are, are supposed to work. And so um, today I'd like to talk about teleporting and a few other little basics that may not be as clear as you might believe. Alrighty, so um, thinking about teleporting, whenever we want to teleport on the map, we're not necessarily, you know, going to spend a teleport item just to move a small distance away from where we are. Although, if your alliance is large enough, you might have more than one uh, territory. And, and so you may want to do that. Or maybe switch alliances and, and you need to, you know, completely change the side of the map that you're on. So... When you're, when you're doing that, obviously you need to be able to find the location of where you want to go. And, and I would recommend using the world zoomed out view where we can see the entire server map and then kind of just selecting where you intend to transport to. Um, and so let's say we wanted to come out here to zone three, which is the center location. Uh, there are technically three zones of the map. The external is considered zone one, the inside of the gateways is considered zone two, and then the very center level is considered zone three. So whenever we do something like that, we'll, we'll see the land in its own zoomed in view. However, we can kind of transport, we can, we can, we can pan around the map itself and uh, view where we may want to land. Now when we find our location we have a few options if we pick a tile. Obviously I'm, I'm the leader of the Alliance Conquer and I have two options. I can select the hammer and the wrench and that allows me to build Alliance constructions or public resource spots. If you are not an R4 or R5, you'll probably only see one option here, the teleport option. And you have two types of teleports that are shown here. You have a specific teleport that basically says, I want to go to this exact location. But also you have a territory teleport. Now, this is, description is a little bit deceiving. Use it to teleport your city to a random effective spot in the Alliance territory. Well, that isn't necessarily true. It may be a game bug, and I may have to amend this video in the future, but if I were to pick a specific location within my Alliance's territory, using a territory teleport will work. It will give me the location within the territory, and I will show you this. Now, I'm out, obviously, I'm outside of the territory zone here, and, and I'm going to really pick a further distance away. I want to pick a location much further away from my 
Alliance just to give you a better idea of how the teleports work. So I'm going to try to get away in, and I want to go to a border here, uh, border of this server. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit, and I'm going to pick a zone. Now, whenever you teleport, you can't teleport to another alliance, because I am in an alliance, I can't teleport into their territory. If there are any obstacles here, there may be a monster, there may be a, a abyssal tribe, uh, maybe there's, you know, a feature on the map, say like a mountain or something that won't allow me to claim that location, but you can see I'm, I'm on the very outskirts of the map, and here we go. Well, there are some players here, and I don't want to subject myself to any type of Harm, but eh, we'll pick it anyway. So I'm gonna drop my castle right in here in this open area next to Methodist 99 and Because I am picking a specific location on the map and the server map itself I'm gonna have to use a specific teleport and you can see I'm not teleporting to my territory my alliance territory so that Ability to use that button is gone, so I'm going to expend one of these specific teleports. Granted, they're they're not cheap, so when you do this, you definitely want to be sure that this is the only option you have. And I'll show you as soon as I teleport away from my ter alliance territory that this is possible to use a territory teleport, even though it says a random effective spot. So I'm going to teleport my city here. Now, yes, I am absolutely protected with a peace shield, at least for another hour or so. So, you can see, now I've completely relocated myself to this upper right-hand corner. That is how te te uh, teleports work. And so, if I come here and I look at my castle and I pop back out to the map, you can see... I've relocated myself. These these types of things just, I guess, are not necessarily clear to all players. And maybe because the game is so new, uh, we're picking up a lot of younger players. Because the concept of, you know, playing the puzzles and the storyline, plus the advantage of uh, the war game, the battling between other, you know, player versus players, alliance versus alliance, and even server versus server. I mean, that's appealing to a lot of us long-term gamers like myself, but I'm, I'm sure we're picking up some younger players because it, it happens. I mean, why wouldn't it happen? Um, it's, it's a great game, and so why wouldn't we attract the individuals who want to play these styles of games? It's a great beginner game. So there you have it. That's how specific teleport works. Now, let's think. I've just joined an alliance. I need to move to their location because I want to take advantage of being able to rally with those players. I want to be able to uh, collect from the public resource spot or, you know, do different operations or just really feel closer connected in the community. Maybe it offers some protection to be near the larger players. What do I do? So, I'm outside. I'm going to pick this map again, the, the server map. I can see my other alliance mates here. And, and I'm going to pick in the general direction. So I'm going to pick in this location here, Alliance Fortress 2. This is a Conquer Alliance Fortress. This is our territory here. I want to teleport into the territory, Alliance territory. Well, I want to be with allies. We've got our ally here, Rain. I'm going to pick into an open area where I can teleport. And again, I have two options. I can build something because I am in the R5, but I want to teleport. Now, the territory teleport appears, and the button is active. Now, the description says use it to teleport your city to a random effective spot in the Alliance territory. I've picked a specific location 
here in the Alliance territory. And it's going to allow me to use this territory teleport. So, for recent players, re maybe you're a new recruit to an alliance. There is no reason to expend all the value of a specific teleport. The territory teleport, even though the description says it won't allow you to pick that specific location and move to it, this territory teleport is going to allow me to move directly next to my ally. And there you have it. You can see that the territory teleport does actually specifically move me within my alliance's territory.